How to perform compression only CPR. Cardiac emergencies can happen anywhere. Be prepared with a simple technique known as compression only CPR. You can learn it in minutes, it's easy to remember, and it can help save a life. You will need the willingness to act and a few simple skills. Whenever possible, be sure to use personal protective equipment such as disposable gloves when providing emergency care. Step one, if you see an adult or adolescent suddenly collapse, check the scene for safety and then see if the person responds to you by tapping them on the shoulder and shouting, are you okay? Step two, if they don't respond, call or send someone to call 911 or the local emergency number right away. Step three, open the airway by tilting their head back and lifting the chin up and briefly check for normal breathing. Look to see if the chest rises and falls. Listen for breathing and feel for breathing on the side of your face. Step four, if the person is not breathing, prepare to give them chest compressions. Kneel beside them and put the heel of one hand on the center of their chest. Place your other hand over that hand, lacing your fingers together. Position your shoulders directly over your hands, keeping your arms straight and your fingers off the chest. Loosen or remove clothing if it gets in the way of giving deep compressions in the middle of the chest. Step five, push down on the chest fast and deep, about two inches. Then, let the chest rise completely before pressing down again. Don't take your hands off the chest, just your weight. Chest compressions keep blood containing vital oxygen flowing throughout the body. Step six, keep going. Do not stop or interrupt compressions until the person shows an obvious sign of life, like normal breathing, the scene becomes unsafe, an automated external defibrillator, or AED is ready, you're too exhausted to continue, or a trained responder arrives and takes over. Step seven, get training and encourage others to do so by taking an American Red Cross health and safety course. Knowing full CPR, chest compressions and breaths will enable you to help in other emergencies, such as those that involve infants and children. Every household should have at least one person trained in life-saving skills. Did you know, most people who survive a cardiac emergency are helped by a bystander? To find your local Red Cross chapter, visit redcross.org.